and today we're going to study dividing numbers mentally. Let's look at this illustration. Let's give the multiplication sentence for this. We have the first factor is, that's correct, it's 3 because we have 3 groups. How about the second factor? Good job children, it's 6. Because we have six triangles in each group. How about the product? What is the product? Fantastic! It's 18 because we have 18 triangles in total. How about the division sentence? Who can give me the dividend? What is the dividend? Remember children, dividend is the total number of objects. How many triangles do you see? Very good! It's 18. How about the divisor? You divide 18 by how many triangles? Good job! 6. Because you divide 18 by 6 triangles. How about the quotient? How many sets of triangles do you have here? How many sets of 6 triangles do you have? Fantastic! It's 3. So we have 18 divided by 6 equals 3. So as you can see children, from the multiplication sentence, we have 3 times 6 equals 18. While our division sentence is 18 divided by 6 equals 3. Did you know that multiplication and division are inverse operation? When you say inverse, that is opposite. Why? Because when you look at the multiplication sentence from right to left, you can see the numbers 18, 6, and 3, which is the division sentence. We have the division sentence 18 divided by 6 equals 3. It is just the opposite of multiplication sentence when you look at it from right to left. Is that clear children? So let's have another example. I have here this illustration. Again, let's give the multiplication sentence. How many groups do you have? That's correct. We have five groups. How about the second factor? How many stars do you have in each group? Fantastic! It's nine. How about the product? Five times nine equals? Good job! It's 45. So now, let's give the division sentence. What is the dividend? Very good, children. It's 45. How about the divisor? You divide 45 in how many per group? That's correct. It's 9. How about the quotient? How many sets of 9 do you have in 45? Fantastic! It's 5. So our division sentence is 45 divided by 9 equals 5. Look at the multiplication sentence. When you look at it from right to left, we have 45, 9, and 5, which is our division sentence. 45 divided by 9 equals 5. Is that clear, children? Always remember, division and multiplication are inverse operations. A number can be divided mentally by applying skip counting. Just like our multiplication, we can apply skip counting, right? So this time, we're going to divide using skip counting. Let's have this example. 40 divided by 10 equals blank. How many 10 do you have in 40? Let's skip count by 10 until we reach 40. Let's do it together. 10. Let's use your fingers. 10. 20, 30, 40. So we have 4 tenths. So we have 40 divided by 10 equals 4. Is that clear? Again, a number can be divided mentally by applying skip counting. Let's have the next example. 27 divided by 3 equals blank. Let's skip count by 3 until we reach 27. Let's do it together. 3, 6, 9, 12, 
15, 18, 21, 24, 27. So the quotient is 9. How about if we have this? 14 divided by 2 equals blank. Let's keep count by 2 until we reach 14. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So the quotient is 7. How about if we have this? 8 divided by 8 equals blank. Let's keep count by 8 until you reach 8. 8! So that is 1 only. Always remember children, when you divide the same number, the answer is always 1. How about if we have this? 32 divided by 4 equals blank. Let's keep count by 4 until we reach 32. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. So the quotient is 8. So everybody, please get your drill board. So using your drill board, I want you to give the quotient as fast as you can. You don't need to copy the numbers, just give the quotient only. Ready? Let's have the first one. 21 divided by 3 equals blank. Write your answer on your drill board. The answer is... 7! So let's have the next number. How about if you have this? 12 divided by 2 equals blank. The answer is 6. Why? Let's keep count by 2 until we reach 12. Let's do it together. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. That is 6. How about if we have this? 15 divided by 3 equals blank. The answer is... That is 5! Why? Let's do it together. Let's keep count by 3 until we reach 15. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. That is 5. How about if we have this? 20 divided by 5 equals blank. The answer is 4. Why? Let's keep count by 5 until we reach 20. Let's do it together, children. 5, 10, 15, 20. That is 4. How about if you have this? 100 divided by 10 equals blank. The quotient is 10. <laughs> Why? Let's keep count by 10 until we reach 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That is 10. How about if you have this? 70 divided by 10 equals blank. The quotient is? Seven. Oh, let's keep count by 10 until we reach 70. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. That is 7. How about if you have this? 18 divided by 3 equals blank. The quotient is 6. Oh, let's keep count by 3 until we reach 18. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. That is 6. How about if you have this? 20 divided by 4 equals blank. The quotient is... 5. Uh, let's keep count by 4 until we reach 20. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. That is 5. How about if you have this? 5 divided by 5 equals blank. That's so easy. The quotient is 1. Because when you divide the same number, the quotient is 1. 
So always remember children, division and multiplication are inverse operation. And a number can be divided mentally by applying skip counting. 